Now you got, but now you got a, and you saw, I think it was a week or, week or so ago when Dak Prescott made that ridiculous comment saying, well, I don't play for money. And Dak Prescott just w- was at one point the highest paid quarterback in the NFL. I get what he was even trying though to say. he damn sure didn't disturb, what? I get what, but, he, I get what he was trying to say. Yeah, we, I get what he was trying to say, but it sounded completely tone deaf and ridiculous because if you're going to say that, then, you, can say, you can say something better that says, well, I don't need to be the highest paid guy. I want to be paid in line with my contemporaries and people at my level. But what is Dak Prescott's level? He's a loser. Whoa. He, he, he's a loser. He's won two playoff games in the decade. <laughs> you know, he never wins an important game that matters for the Cowboys, he's, he's no matter top, how good they do in the regular season. He's a top 12 quarterback. So I, top I'll 12, so he's, a, so he's a mid-level quarterback in the NFL. So he's around 18 I mean, I I would have him probably at 15 because I don't think he's that good. He's right. Well, they, they made a comparison to Jared Goff. I think Jared Goff is better than him, and I don't think it's close. I like Jared Goff also. Jared Goff just took the Detroit Lions to the conference finals, and they didn't lose because of Jared Goff. No, they, they lost didn't. because their coach doesn't know how to kick a field goal. They did not lose because of Jared Goff. <laughs> Jared Goff didn't lose that game. Cowboys <laughs> lost because of Dak Prescott. Absolutely. And they've lost because of him before. Before. Uh, not being you able know, to step up in the big time game, <clears throat> doing the things that they need to do, or just play like how he played in the regular season. So when it came to the big time games, where teams are dialing up on you, when they're, they're coming up with, you know, they're done. So the defensive coordinators they save a little couple of things for the playoffs for each mm-hmm. player they play. Against. It's not going to be the same as that. Game. So him not being being able to adjust in those moments is a big thing for us. Like him not seeing that. They're not just going to sit in that regular defense that you, they, they showed on film the whole time. Of course, they came up with a whole different game to play for the playoff. Like, it's different. It's big time now. You have to be able to make a different type of move or play on your own. That's not what the script says. You have to be able to go off script. And he hasn't been able to go off script in the playoffs. I'm sorry, my people. My voice is a little nasally right now. I'm coming down. You know, it was, it was a week from me. It's going around the whole city, I see. Uh, yeah, when you have kids in daycare, you're always sick. Oh, Lord. Yes. That's how it goes. You, you, kids in daycare, you will always have a cold. And so, like, it'll be a monthly occurrence. Ho- hopefully, it doesn't mean that you get over the cold and you catch it again immediately thereafter. But it, it happens. I know that for sure. Uh, I, I just think Dak Prescott, I mean, my God. <laughs> the guy is sitting here saying he doesn't care. He doesn't play for money. Like, then what the hell you play for, bro? Like, you could go, you go go work at a desk then if you don't play for money. How about you play for zero? If you don't play, play for, for a, play for a dollar and let all your teammates get paid. Micah Parsons, C.D. Lamb, whoever else they got in that roster. Let them bring in more talent to protect his sorry ass because I don't think he's any good at all. Um, I mean, if he's yeah. fifteen, Zach. I don't think he's trash. I don't think he's that good. Ah, I mean, uh, you're 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 generous. Okay, let's let's talk about that because we went to have this topic earlier this year and we never did it. Yep. Number one quarterback, Patrick Mahomes. Yep. Number two. Uh Josh me. Allen. I'm I'm okay. I'm not Lamar Jackson, whoever. Lamar. Let's Burrow. let's say Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen. Burrow. Um Brock Brock Purdy. Yep. Brock Joe Burrow. Burrow. That's five. Yep. Okay. Jeff Goff. Jalen Hurts. Goff. Goff is six. How about Hurts? Hurts. Okay, that's seven. Uh we're missing people. I know we are for sure. Oh, the guy, um, uh, Love. Who, uh, yeah, Love now, um, dude in Green Bay now, for sure. Um, that's eight. He Hell, he just beat Stafford. Dak Prescott's ass. Stafford. Stafford is nine. Uh, uh, Justin Herbert's ten. Yeah, there we go. Hell, I would say Tua's better than him at 11. And I don't even like Tua. I would say Tua's better at 11. That's 11. Uh, you, you wouldn't? He, threw for, he, he led the league in passing. No, not Tua. Take Tua out. Well, he led the league in passing, and he had better numbers than Dak Prescott did last year. No, he didn't have better numbers. Yes, he did. He yeah, did. He more did. Than him. did he have more touchdowns? I'll go look it up for you right now, because I mean, he led the league yeah, in passing. He sure he had more Let's see. He he threw for four thousand six hundred twenty-four yards. He threw for the most yards, um, in the league. He was he had the high, he had the uh, fourth highest per completion. Well. Second highest, really, because I don't count Nick Mullins and Mason Rudolph with four and five games. So he was second in yards per attempt um, behind Brock Purdy. 
He um but how many Zach Zach led the league in touchdowns. Yeah. And how much uh, and how much of that was because he had Tyreek Hill? Oh well how about C D Lamb? You just said I mean, you, you just did, but you just I think he's better, but you but you don't act like the the damn Cowboys don't have are not loaded with weapons. He had Waddle. Who's better than Waddle or as Okay, a but uh, the Dallas Cowboys had like the third best offense in the NFL. Yeah, I'm gonna they not? Not was it because of Dak or was it because of the weapons? No, Dak. You don't even okay, know. Who well, Q, QBR, um, I guess Dak here is second. QB rating, Dak is second. Uh, I mean, maybe he did. I, I mean, I don't even like Tua, but I wouldn't trade Tua for Dak. I would say C.J. Stroud's better than Dak. Um, I would, hell, I would take Baker Mayfield over Dak. Uh, Baker Mayfield, no, not I would take. I, I would. I, hell, I, I mean, yeah, I, w- I would take Trevor Lawrence over Dak. Ah, uh, not yet. Um, not yet. Trevor's I'm still. going through the list. I wouldn't take Deshaun Watson over Dak, because, but I would have taken him before he went to, you know, rub and tug jail. Um, <laughs> you know, who so, else? Here? Like I said, he's around. Eight I mean, I think I'm like around 15. I think the I think the guys after 13, 14, 15 are just complete garbage. Eight to 12. Eight to 12. You just said how can it be eight to 12? Well, you just named 12 guys better. No, I named I named ten. You I, named, okay, you named ten, so he can't be eight. He can't be nine. Agree. He can't agree. be ten. I didn't agree with two. I didn't agree with uh, Lawrence. Okay, but I, that was like I, I mentioned Lawrence like eighteenth. No, no, no. <laughs> I had two at eleven. I didn't agree so, with Baker yet either. Baker I, again. I, I okay. Let's go through this again. Brock Purdy. Oh, you forgot Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins is absolutely better than him. Um, no, Lamar Jackson. Kirk is in the same fucking boat as him. Both hey, go look. Go look at Kirk Cousins' numbers yeah. over the last decade. Kirk yeah, Cousins is one of the boat. best quarterbacks in football yeah, in the last in decade. The same boat with a the fucking. They're both on the same boat. Okay, again, Brock Purdy, Lamar Jackson, C.J. Stroud, Jarrett Goff, Josh Allen, Matthew Stafford, Jalen Hurts, Justin Herbert. That's eight right there. Yeah, Joe Burrow. That's nine. That's what we had. Yeah, we but I had another one. We had another one in there. Did we say Jared Goff? I'm yeah. oh, sorry, Jordan Love. That's ten. So that was the ten. Yeah. So at best, he's eleventh on your list. That's what I said. Eight to twelve. No, you said eight to twelve. That means he could be eight, nine, or ten. No, that means he could be between eight to twelve. Yes, exactly. But according to whom? You just said he's. You just said he's worse than eight, nine, and ten. I see. I said before we named those days, I said he'll be around. Eight okay, years. now that we've named him, you have him at eleven. Okay, around eleven. Yeah. So between. But he's not a top ten quarterback. So you're going to pay a number eleven quarterback three hundred million dollars? No, but that's just the market that we're in. That's the world we're in. Again, but you're the anti QB. No, the market we're in is a bullshit market. Do it. I'll probably I'll probably get fired as a GM because I'm not <laughs> paying people what they're not worth. I'm gonna go out to you. Jared got that head, bro. I can't pay you that. And I already told you how I feel about quarterback getting paid this big amount of money when they're not that good. I don't think if you wanted to give somebody what twenty million dollars, I forgot who it was. It was was it was, was it golf or, or Dak? It was Tua. Yeah. Like, uh, so I'm not. I'm not. Hold on. Give me one second. One second. I'm not. I'm not giving. Okay. And Nick Nick is snotting away on. He, he didn't even mute the shit, man. <laughs> I can't be embarrassed like that. This, this goes global. Everybody can see this. You need to learn to mute your mic before you snot all over the place. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to. I didn't think I was going to. All right. Whatever. Get to the topic. Okay. So Dak Prescott, he he doesn't play for money. We've established he's he plays for the fun of the game and the love of football. Take twenty million. Yeah, if you love it so much, take twenty million and go get let C D Lamb get paid fifty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let Michael Parsons go cash his cash. So I don't think so. When we go look at it, I don't think anybody should be within ten million of Patrick Mahomes. So let's just break it down there. Patrick getting whatever sixty, fifty million. So the next quarterback should be at like forty. So then we got our forty million quarterbacks. It's going to be Lamar. We're going to have Burrow, uh, Purdy once he gets there. Uh, uh, Purdy still plays for a per diem of like eight, like yeah, fifty dollars yeah, a day. Yeah. <laughs> we got Hertz. We got so that's the forty million dollar range. Now we're going to bring it to the $30 million range. That's where we got our staff roots. We have our uh, uh, golf. 
uh, who else are we gonna have? Uh, Herbert. That's our thirty million dollar raise. Not our twenty million dollar raise. This is where we bring in the Dak Prescotts, the Kirk Cousins, the two attack blah 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 lover. Uh, uh, this these are the twenty million dollar raises. This is how I tell you about quarterbacks. When these quarterbacks are just getting paid just because we have to give it to the quarterback because he's the best player on the he's the most important player on the team. That's the most bullshit because if my center can't hike the ball, then how the hell he's important. <laughs> if the left tackle doesn't block for him or the right tackle doesn't block for him, he ain't that important. <laughs> how is he important? If my running back doesn't come up and Take off this linebacker who's blitzing. How is he important? If my running back doesn't run the ball and soften the defense and bring safeties up, how is he important? You know? So when they do that, just because, oh, he, he has to know what everybody's doing, I get that. I get that. I, I appreciate that. But I can say down, say I can hand the ball off. That don't mean I should get $50 million. If I can't read defenses or throw the ball through zones, like it's, I, I don't like how you just have to give to somebody the money. I don't. Okay, okay. So the the Celtics um, have won this game. They're up twenty five again. The Mavericks threw the white flag in, um, and we're on on our way to seeing Jalen Brown be named Finals MVP. I'm watching. Uh, he's got twenty two points. Oh, he's got twenty. Jalen Brown's got twenty two points right now. Uh, six rebounds, two assists, three blocks, three steals. Um, Tatum's got fifteen, ten, and five. Uh, Porz- Porzingis has 26 and 3 on blocks. But yeah, Jalen Brown on 12 shots has 22 points. Most of- <laughs> oh, look at Kyrie with the towel over his head. He's pouting. And- you know that Jalen Brown got uh, coloring in his beard. Remember, he went really gray and now his beard is all black. Like, he colored all the gray out. Like, see, you can't do the coloring of the beard. If people already know that you have a gray beard, why not? You need to do it before, like when you get a strand here and there. You can. That's when you do the coloring. You, you don't wait till you you got gray patches everywhere. I got one right here. Yeah, but you're not, but you're not a, a, a nationally prominent figure like Kyrie Irving, who's had like the homeless hairstyle, you know, and, and gray mm-hmm. patches all over the place. But mm-hmm. one hair, that's when you start doing it. Rudy, you, you know, you don't. What, what, what are you gonna say? Oh, you color your I, hair. I mean, it's like when LeBron James decides to go get just for men or whatever okay. hair plugs or, or a wig or whatever he's wearing. Rudy, okay, I did it. What you gonna do about it? I did it. What? <laughs> okay, I did it. It's over. I did it. I do it. I have no problem with it, but I did it and you never knew it. No, you could know. <laughs> I changed it up. Okay, I, I looked in my. What if, what, if you, what if you colored your hair orange or something like that? You'd say, okay, change it up. Yeah, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.